Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another uh, week ahead. Sagittarius, this is from the 1st to the 7th of uh, April, Monday to Sunday. Let's see what we can expect and this is the overall influence which is a major arcana for the week and this one says Hierophant. So things are going to be stable, things will be very organized, things will be good and you have the universe backing you this week. Let's see how and let's see why. I'm going to take out one card for each day, Sagittarius, from Monday to Sunday, 1st to the 7th. Let's see what you can expect and why the Hierophant is right behind you in whatever you're doing this week. So Spirit, tell me, for my Saggy gang, what can they expect from the 1st to the 7th? Temperance, that's your card, Sagittarius. Oh, wow. Nine of Cups for Tuesday, Six of Wands on Wednesday, total victory, and we have the Hierophant again. This is a very important week for you. The universe is going to be rewarding you for your patience. Okay, let me just finish this and I'll tell you. I was doing the pre shuffle, I got a message there. I'll just tell you. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Saturday, Ace of Wands and Sunday Spirit, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favor this week. No wonder the universe is behind this. I think, uh, okay, let me tell you what I got in the pre-shuffle first. In the pre-shuffle, I got your overall energy as the magician, right? And the, and the um, message was that uh, uh, Sagittarius has been working very hard for a very long time. They have been patient, but they have been very dedicated. They have been planning something. And this week, the universe is going to back them and give them some tools to make all their dreams and wishes come true. And when I did the rest of the cards, I mean, started off with Sagittarius um, uh, manifesting good, but by Sunday, they got something that was even better. So now, let's see. I wish I had recorded that as well. But um, take my word for it because these cards are very similar. Let's uh, also take uh, an affirmation card for you, Sagittarius. Let's start with an affirmation as to what my Saggy gang should affirm to themselves to have this lovely victory coming towards them. Okay, spirit. Uh, discernment. I trust my intuition. You're the magician of your own life, Sagittarius. And I do sense, I think this week, whatever you have been manifesting or uh, praying for or connecting with your spirit guides, your angels are going to be sending you messages. Please look out for them, watch out for them and listen to your, trust your intuition. Okay, so this card says, discernment means sensing what feels right or wrong. Trusting your judgment and acting on it. The angel guidance is to look at the people and situations in your life now and respond to your gut feeling. Learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you to discern the good from the bad. They will prompt and guide you. You will feel safer, happier, stronger and clearer. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted, Sorry, angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted to use your discernment, you can serve the universe in a great way. All right, so your affirmation once again is I trust my intuition. The universe will be sending you messages. I mean, I have the Hierophant twice here already. Okay, so let's put this card here and now start with Monday. So spirit, what's the temperance card? Temperance is a Sagittarius card. So why is that here on Monday for the 1st of April? Uh, Six of Wands, you've been waiting for the success for a very long time. I told you that's exactly what came out in the pre-shuffle as well. The Sagittarius has been working very, very patiently for that day of, you know, on, in the spotlight and having that victory and success. I have a feeling by Tuesday there's going to be some news which is going to make you f jump with joy. I think exactly what you've been manifesting is coming towards you. By Thursday you have the same card, Six of Wands. So what's making uh, Sagittarius so happy, Spirit, on, the, on Tuesday? What's the Nine of Cups? Nine of Cups, Two of Pentacles, okay, one more. 
Yeah, if you've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, waiting, when will, when will it happen, when will it happen? Well, you're walking away from indecisions now. You're walking away from anything that was keeping you imbalanced or in limbo, everything that may kept you stuck or, you know, trying to figure out when you can. Yes, Queen of Cups is going to make you feel emotionally very happy. Tuesday is going to be a day where your, your heart will be overflowing with happiness because now you know that whatever you've been patiently manifesting is coming true. By Wednesday, I do see you in the Six of Wands, exactly what you were manifesting. This is a card of victory, success, joy, being applauded, by seen, seen by others. Mm, and the Six of Cups, yes, there will be others around you who will probably get together and congratulate you and say, well done, Sagittarius, you were very, very hardworking. The, everybody, I think, has been noticing how patiently you've been waiting and how diligently you've been looking forward to this success and there will be uh, loved ones around you who will feel very happy for you. You can finally, you know, take that breather and say, okay, now I can slow down. I can smell the roses now. I've got what I what I wanted. Uh, and the Ten of Cups here, this is like, Ten of Cups is emotionally very, very happy. It's all Ten Cups full. You, I told you, whatever you want, you will get better. You're aiming for the Nine of Cups, you get the Ten of Cups. And there is no Eleventh Cup. Ten is the maximum. As so you're getting the highest rewards this week. So Thursday spirit, what's the Hierophant? What's the Hierophant for Thursday? Okay, so your life is changing. If you've been cocooned or, you know, hard at work and it's, you know, how those butterflies are when they're inside that, the caterpillar stage where you are in that dark little space and you're it's painful to be i guess in that dark spot where you are waiting for that birth to happen it's going to be death and rebirth it's going to be like finally sagittarius you become that butterfly and you get all those beautiful colors something that you were scared would never happen but the universe is going to bring it to you by Thursday, yes, you will be flying free from whatever has been holding you back, Sagittarius, leaving all troubles behind and moving towards a peaceful, happy future for yourself. Eight of uh, Swords. By uh, Friday, I do see you sitting very comfortable. You have a lovely home, you could be redecorating, you could be buying new clothes, you could be feeling you have enough money in the bank. Not only do you have enough for yourself, you have enough maybe to share with your loved ones as well. So by, by the end of the week, I think whatever you were waiting for initially, I think by the end of the week you'll feel, yes, I've accomplished it. Yes, I've accomplished. Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. And how does that happen? Tell me, Sagittarius, two different decks. Two different decks, same card. Right? So this is going to be a good, happy, emotionally happy and successful week for you from what I feel. By Saturday, Ace of Wands, you're excited about the weekend or excited about the week ahead, I don't know. But you are planning some, some excitement into your life. Yeah, you are, you are wanting to maybe give something a second shot. Maybe you want to try something new on the weekend. Maybe you want to start a new hobby. There's something that you may, may have put on the back backbencher for a long time, but that spark of interest has come back up. Maybe you wanted to go for a holiday, which you had said, okay, later when I have enough. I think all that excitement is going to come back on Saturday to say, you know what, I think I should try that or I should do that. I'm excited about life once again. And uh, yes, yeah, this, this card also I got in the pre-shuffle and uh, it was like spirit was saying, you know what, we are rewarding you for your strength. The show of courage that Sagittarius has given or, you know, stood by their goals or worked hard for what they want. This is going to be a reward for them standing up in their power and in their strength. The excitement, the happiness is going to be back in your life because because of you. This is like almost one person says, I'm, this is my plan, this is my goal. Even though it's slow moving, I'm not going to give up. This is almost getting rewarded for your patience. So Sunday, yes, Sunday is the Wheel of Fortune. So you feel luck is on your side. Finally, things are moving in your favor. So let's see. Tell me, Spirit, Wheel of Fortune for Sunday. What's the Wheel of Fortune? King of Pentacles. Oh, my God. 
this is like highest level of security success it's only going to get better and better because now you feel luck is favoring you the wheel of fortune is finally moving in your favor and uh, the only advice which uh, i think uh, the this this card gave you right the the card of discernment is the same card i've got right at the end which says high priestess listen to your intuition this week sagittarius your heart is going to guide you in the correct direction do not lose hope do not give up you are on the track for a lot of gain lot of financial gain lot of happiness safety security mm. this wheel is about to about to move in your favor so keep listening to you, whatever your gut is saying follow that direction and please do not give up it's because of your show of strength that the universe is going to be turning things in your favor now okay that's what i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste sagittarius